Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. Hollywood's biggest names were out and about at this time 43 years ago. June 1981 was well underway, with stars making appearances at premieres, parties and other high-profile events. The British royal family gathered for one of the UK's most time-honored traditions, while Olivia Newton-John and Victoria Principal were on hand to see Andy Gibb make his debut in The Pirates of Penzance. Elsewhere, Debbie Harry and Kurt Russell met up in New York City and Wayne Gretzky had a close encounter with a camel. Travel back in time to see what the hottest stars of the decade were up to as summer 1981 kicked off. Sophia Loren's signature scent picked up the award for fragrance of the year at the 1981 Fifi Fragrance Awards Gala in New York City. Jerry Lewis pointed his own camera at photographers while on the New York City set of The King of Comedy. Bob Dylan played a June 10th gig at Chicago's Poplar Creek Music Theater. Dallas star Victoria Principal joined then-boyfriend Andy Gibb for opening night of the Los Angeles production of The Pirates of Penzance, in which Gibb starred as pirate apprentice Frederick. Also at the L.A. opening of The Pirates of Penzance, a beaming Olivia Newton-John with Xanadu co-star and future husband Matt Latanzi. Isaac Hayes looked cooler than thou while posing for a June 11th photo. NHL pro Wayne Gretzky made a special appearance at Miami's Metro Zoo, taking a ride on Casey the Camel with little brother Brent. Raiders of the Lost Ark premiered in U.S. theaters on June 12th, launching the Indiana Jones franchise with star Harrison Ford in one of his most iconic roles. Queen Elizabeth II saddled up for the Trooping the Color procession in London. Following the Trooping the Color procession, Queen Elizabeth II joined Lady Diana Spencer, Prince Charles, Prince Philip and other members of the British royal family on the balcony of Buckingham Palace to watch the Royal Air Force fly past. Journey bassist Ross Valerine frontman Steve Perry didn't stop during a June 14th performance at the Calaveras County Fairgrounds in Jackson, California. Motown Records founder Barry Gordy surprised singer Smokey Robinson live on stage during a June 15th concert at the Greek Theater in Los Angeles. Rolling Stones frontman Mick Jagger was photographed returning to his New York City home after attending a June 16th performance by Jamaican musician Jimmy Cliff at the Ritz Club. With a little over a month to go before her wedding to Prince Charles, Lady Diana Spencer already looked wary of photographers while attending a June 16th polo match at Windsor Great Park. Harry Belafonte was photographed arriving in Sydney, Australia, on his 1981 concert tour. Also in Sydney in June 1981, the ever-dashing Julio Iglesias. Actors Randy Hamilton and Brooke Shields got cozy for a photo during a taping of ABC's Kids Are People 2. Blondie's Debbie Harry and actor Kurt Russell met up at an event in New York City, about a month before he would try to get out of the Big Apple in Escape from New York. Dolly Parton has always taken the old adage the higher the hair, the closer to God seriously. Here she is sporting a very 1981 do. The great Julie Andrews was photographed in the run-up to the July 1st release of her 1981 film SOB.